Can you eat a hockey puck? These ones you can. Yes, these treats are called hockey pucks. No, I'm not crazy. Just hold on, I'll show you. First things first, we need to get our chocolate melted. So I have a double boiler and it's basically two saucepans on top of one another, but you put water in the bottom of the bottom one and then, and then you set the other one on top. Now, if you don't have a double boiler, that's okay. What you can do is take a regular old saucepan and take a bowl that will it'll rest on the rim of your pan but it won't fall in and you put water in the bottom, fill it up as much as you can without it touching the bottom of the bowl that you put on top or as much water as you can without it touching the bottom of your top pan. And then I'm going to turn this on to medium just for now, we'll turn it down later. And then we are going to put our chocolate chips in there. I used bittersweet chocolate that had about 60% cocoa in it. You can use semi-sweet if you want, but I would not use milk chocolate. As you can see, the chocolate is starting to melt along the edges here. So, the reason I have the heat on medium is because I want to heat up the water, but once the water is warmed up, I'm going to turn it down to low, and simultaneously I'm going to keep stirring my chocolate. I used two regular size bags, they're probably 11 ounce bags of chocolate chunks. Chocolate chips are fine, it doesn't matter. If you wanted to use a baking bar, that would be fine too, just break it up into pieces or if you want to use almond bark, like chocolate almond bark, you can go ahead and do that. Again, I just, I still suggest semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate. Benefit of a double boiler is that your chocolate will not burn, so it's okay if you get distracted for a little bit. Just keep your fire on low, which is what I'm going to turn mine down to right now. Once we start putting these together, you'll understand why they're called hockey pucks. Be sure to give your chocolate some love every once in a while. Okay, get yourself a baking dish. Cookie sheet, jelly roll pan, that's what I mean by baking dish. Put some parchment paper or some foil on that bad boy. And this is the part where we make our peanut butter sandwiches. So get yourself some Ritz, the original. Don't try to be healthy with these and get the whole wheat original. Open up a sleeve of those, fillet that sleeve open. Get yourself some original jip, creamy please, and don't do the natural. I tried it, it's not as good, it's not the same. This is dessert, we're not trying to be healthy. Creamy Jif. If you're a skippy person, I'll allow it. Stir your chocolate. As you can see, it's melting down and we are just going to keep it simmering. I might have to move it to my smaller burner. Smaller burner, less heat. If you have a metal fork, don't leave it in there or else it will be hot when you try and touch it. Back to what we were doing. Peanut butter sandwiches. So you're going to take an unbroken Ritz cracker. Take a good amount of peanut butter on your knife. I try to keep more towards the center. Take another unbroken Ritz, center it, squish a little bit, set it on your paper, and do that as many times as you want.
Now, as soon as you have as many as you want of these, we are going to take our melted chocolate. You're going to take one of your peanut butter Ritz sandwiches and plop it in there, fat ways. And you're going to brush the chocolate up against the side of it, flip it over, make sure you, all your sides are covered, and then you're going to wiggle it. This is an art. I did not learn this overnight. This came from practice. I found a fork might be your best option because the slits allow the excess chocolate to drop from the bottom. Once you have your excess chocolate off of your peanut butter sandwich, you're going to take it back to your parchment paper and let it glide off of your fork. Now that we have some of our hockey pucks dipped, it's time to decorate. And sometimes it's good to do a batch of chocolate dipping and then decorate because you don't want the chocolate to get too cool before you put sprinkles on because then the sprinkles won't stick as well. So, since it's Christmas time, we have some trees and some gold balls. And then we have some just gold sprinkles. You can use whatever sprinkles you want, whatever colors you want. If these are for a hockey team, you can put the player's numbers on them. However you do that, maybe some pipe some icing on there. Up to you. But I just sprinkle some on top. You can put as many sprinkles or as few sprinkles on there as you want. I'm gonna be kind of liberal today. Whoa, a little too much there. That's okay. And then some gold. Very fancy looking. Nice. Let's get a close up. What do you guys think? I think they look awesome. But we can't eat them yet. We have to let the chocolate settle. And to do this, I pop these in the fridge. And then once the chocolate hardens, we'll come back and give these beauties a try. The chocolate on our hockey pucks has set. Mm, which one do I want? Kinda want a shimmery one. That's what the top looks like. That's what the side looks like. That's what the bottom looks like. Oh, missed some chocolate there. That's okay. So as you might notice, there's some resemblance to a hockey puck. Clearly, y'all know it's not a hockey puck, but it looks like a mini hockey puck with decorations on it. It's a fancy hockey puck. But it's just a delicious chocolate peanut butter hockey puck that we are now going to try, and I'm going to let you know what it tastes like. Actually, let me cut one in half so that you can see a cross section. It's a perfect little peanut butter sandwich. If you like Reese's, you're gonna like these. I have to give it a taste test, just for quality assurance, you know? They can get a little messy, but it's so worth it. Mm, mm, mm. 
you get that sweet and salty peanut butter, sweet chocolate, salty Ritz, and that satisfying crunch. Partially from the Ritz, but also from the chocolate being cold. I always made these at Christmas time, and it is Christmas time when I'm filming this. You guys have to try these out. They're a little more labor intensive, but get the family to help you make them. Someone can make the peanut butter sandwiches, someone can do the chocolate dipping, someone can do the sprinkling, or everyone can share. Give Hockey Pucks a try and let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button and that bell so that you know when I drop the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and Merry Christmas. Thank you.